So in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about a very cool little product from the guys over at JAG. This is the Netlock, and it is a very nifty little product. So let's jump into the video and I'll tell you why it's so cool, why it's so unique, and why you need one. So first things first, you probably wanna know what this actually is and what it does. Now, from the name, I'm sure you've probably guessed it's something to do with landing nets, and it is strictly to do with landing nets. But there's a couple of main, main uses for this. Firstly, the most importantly, is from a fish safety point of view. So the idea of this product is you can net the fish, you can put the net onto this little device, lock it in place, whilst you get everything ready for photos, for weighing, all that sort of thing, and then only get the fish out when you're ready to do all that. Now, obviously a lot of people move fish into slings and then put the slings back in the water and then retain them that way whilst they then get everything ready. But by using something like this, it takes that process out. So the fish is only actually out the water once and then it's only out when everything is ready. Now, with this being a locking system, it basically locks your landing net in place. So there's no chance of the fish actually getting out of the net. Now it can be used in a variety of ways, which we'll come on to a little bit later, but I think from a fish safety point of view, that is the main purpose of this product to cause as little stress to the fish as possible. Now the other purpose of the net lock is more of an added bonus than anything with fish safety being the priority. But with something like this, you can actually keep your net exactly where you need it to be. So we all know with night fishing, preparation is absolutely everything. And I'm sure like me, you guys have been there countless times where you have a fish in the middle of the night, you try and grab your net, which you've strung up in the bushes, pull it away, it's stuck in brambles, it's just a complete nightmare. With this, obviously you can lock your net in place, you know that it's not gonna go anywhere overnight, but you know that it's exactly where you need it should you get a bite in the dark. Simply a case of using the quick release system and then your net is free to use. And even if you don't get a bite overnight, you know that your net is still gonna be there in place and it hasn't blown off miles down the bank because you've had a windy night. Now, how does this actually work? So you'll see on the top of this, you've got two U-shaped bits of metal and that is where the spreader block fits into. Now this is completely adjustable. There's four different adjustment points on each of the U's and then obviously they can swivel around as well. So there's full adjustability. It's pretty much gonna fit any landing net on the market to date. Now on the underside of the net lock, there's actually a little screw thread and this is basically been designed to fit absolutely anything. So it can fit storm poles, it can fit bank sticks, it can fit uh, stage stands, anything like that. And it's basically an industry standard thread. It's three eighths of an inch, which means that it will fit any brand. It's not JAG specific. So if you've already got a storm pole that you don't use or something like that, you can simply just pop this on top and it will fit, it will screw into it. Now towards the back of this netlock system, this is where the netlock actually gets its name because it has got a locking system. And I'll talk you through setting up in a second because it is super easy to do. But you basically have this little quick release trigger, which when it's been released, it will sit in a, a position like this. And then to reset it, you simply click it down and then that pushes the button out. So then it's springy. And then you've got a bit of elastic, which then folds over your landing net pole and holds it in place. When it is in place, it cannot go anywhere unless this is triggered. Now I'll show you some examples of that and how it works, but it is literally a one touch operation to go from being completely locked to unlocked. So if that's in the case of uh, netting a fish, you haven't got to worry about trying to undo everything before you can actually get your hands on the lander net, simply a case of one little push of the button and it will unclip so then it's nice and easy to net your fish. Now setting up this system is actually really easy. Like I say, you've got the two U sections at the front and these are Allen keyed in place. You actually get an Allen key supplied in the box so then you can adjust it to however your landing net is. Put your landing net on top of this once you think you've got it in roughly the right position and then just double check, make sure, screw it down so then these U's are actually tight and they're not gonna move. You then set up the quick release system at the back which is simply a case of putting a bit of elastic along this little metal bar here, wrapping it over the landing net handle, around the little quick release system, and then back through the metal again. Once you've done that and you're satisfied it is a really tight fit, that's when you wanna just put a little cable tie, again, that's supplied in the box, around the bottom of the elastic, making it nice and tight, and then clip off all the extras, just so you've got a nice, neat, finished product. Once you have done all that, you will see how easy this quick release system works. And it literally is, like I keep saying, just a touch of the finger and then that will release it. Now you might think that this is one of them products that well, I don't really need that. I'll just get the fish out of the water, put it in a sling and retain it that way. But if there is a way to 
minimize the stress that you're putting on fish when you catch them, then why wouldn't you do that? Now you can pick these up direct from the JAG website or any JAG supplier, and they come in at $42.99. So they're not the cheapest product, but being JAG, you know it's gonna be well made, it's made from decent materials, and it does exactly what it's meant to do. And I think sometimes it's worth paying the extra for having something that you know is gonna do exactly what you want it to do. Now let me know in the comments if you've actually seen one of these in the flesh, what you think of them, or if you think that they've got a use in your angling, let me know and uh, I'll be keen to hear from you. But thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.